So just like the AirPod Pro for iPhone users, the Pixel Buds Pro are a very good default option for any Pixel or Android user in general. They have a decently small case for everyday carry, they have a decent performing battery life, they have a decent performing microphone, and they have decent performing active noise cancellation and ambient mode, which is new for Pixel Buds. So today we're going to check out the Pixel Buds Pro and we're going to see how they stack up to a few other ear buds from Sony, Bose, Jabra, Sennheiser, and Beats. Regarding pricing, Google is being pretty aggressive with their Pixel Buds Pro, and I feel that you should take advantage of this if you can. The Pixel Buds Pro have a retail price of $200, but they can be found on sale for $150. And for comparison's sake, both the Galaxy Buds 2 and Studio Buds have a retail price of $150, the Sennheiser CX Plus have a retail price of $180, the Jabra Elite 7 Pros and Link Bud S both have a retail price of $200, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro have a retail price of $230. Both the AirPod Pro 2 and Sennheiser Momentum 3s have a retail price of $250. The WF1000XM 4s have a retail price of $280. And the Bose QC Earbuds 2 have a retail price of $300. What I'm trying to say here is there are a lot of options to choose from and different earbuds are better suited for different use cases. But nonetheless, the Pixel Buds Pro are a good option that do many things well. So if you want to pick these earbuds up they'll be linked down below or you can always press on the youtube shopping button and if you want to further support the channel check out the merch shelf down below i made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great and if you've been watching me for a while you know i can be very particular so i'll only set my name on something that i'm really proud of now first let's talk about this case now overall i like this case it's decently small and thanks to its pebble like design slipping this case in and out of your pocket is very easy now, size-wise, this case does have a slightly larger footprint than the AirPod Pro's 2's case, and it's also a few millimeters thicker. But I would say that this case is more convenient for everyday use than, let's say, Galaxy Buds, Sony WF-1000XM4s, Link Bud S, Sennheiser CX Plus, Momentum 3s, Jabra Elite 7 Pros, Jabra Elite 85Ts, Studio Buds, or Bose QC Earbuds 2. Now, even though I do like the size of this case and I really love the snap of this magnetic lid, there are two critiques that I do have about this case. The first has to do with their slate texture body. This slate texture is great because it really helps you get a grip on this case, but this slate body does scratch very easily. And I would say that this is an issue because for comparison, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro also have a slate textured body, but this case isn't as quick to collect scratches. But then there's just the matter of taking these earbuds out of their case. I find that these earbuds are a little hard to get a grip on because these earbuds are so flush against the case. So when you're going to take these earbuds out of their case, you have to be very careful. But at least this case has strong magnets in it, so putting your earbuds away is much easier. But when it comes to charging this case, just as you'd expect, this case charges via a USB-C port and you've also got wireless charging. Now, wireless charging is pretty standard when considering most mainstream earbuds, but this is something that you want to take note of, especially if you're considering getting either the Studio Buds or Bose QC earbuds too, because these cases don't have wireless charging, even though they are pretty big. Now, when it comes to battery life, the Pixel Buds Pro have a decent battery life, but their battery life is more mid-tier than it is premium tier. Now, the Pixel Buds Pro have an advertised combined battery life of 31 hours with their active noise cancellation turned off. The earbuds themselves can go for 11 straight hours, which is phenomenal if you're a retail or warehouse worker, and the case can supply about two additional charges. However, if you were to use these earbuds with their active noise cancellation turned on, then they're going to have an advertised combined battery life of 20 hours. The earbuds themselves can go for 7 hours, which is still a lot, plus those almost two charges that you get from the case. Now, the reason why I say the Pixel Buds Pro have a more mid-tier battery life is because most mid-tier ANC earbuds try to aim for a combined battery life of 20 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on. Whereas premium ANC earbuds aim for a combined battery life of 24 to 30 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on. But regardless, the Pixel Buds Pro have good battery, but the earbuds themselves have an above average stamina to them.
But now let's talk about fit. The Pixel Buds Pro fit very differently from previous Pixel Buds. Specifically, they no longer have their built-in ear fins and they're also now shallow fitting in your ear earbuds. As in, they don't go in as deep as standard fitting in your earbuds, like let's say the Galaxy Buds 2, CX Plus, Link Bud S, or Jabra Elite 7 Pro. The Pixel Buds Pro fit more like your AirPod Pro, Studio Buds, Jabra Elite 85Ts, or Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So, thanks to their shallow fit, the Pixel Buds Pro feel more comfortable than your standard fitting in your earbuds because they don't feel as intrusive. However, one drawback about shallow fitting in your earbuds is that they do tend to work out much easier. But I did notice that the Pixel Buds Pro have a really good lockdown and I think that's because these earbuds have so much surface area coming in contact with the bowl of your ear, the additional friction helps with lockdown. But in general, the Pixel Buds Pro fit very well but I would mainly recommend them for casual use because they can wiggle out while working out hard. Now when it comes to connectivity, each earbud establishes a connection with your phone. So if you just want to use one earbud at a time, you can use either one. It doesn't matter. And this is the connection setup that we expect to see from all of our earbuds nowadays. But unfortunately, we still have to specify this because there are still some premium ANC earbuds that are using a Hero and Sidekick setup like the Bose QC Earbuds 2. But regardless, if you're a power user with devices from different ecosystems, the Pixel Buds Pro are a good option because they can be simultaneously connected to any two Bluetooth devices at the same time, regardless of ecosystem. So for example, if you have a Pixel phone and let's say an iPad, then you're going to be able to easily swap between your two devices. And when it comes to overall performance, these earbuds have zero latency across the board when watching movies or videos on your phone, whether you're using an iPhone or an Android device. But when it comes to audio codecs, the Pixel Buds Pro only have support for SBC and AAC, which is pretty standard and AAC is going to work perfectly fine whether you're an iPhone or an Android user. But unfortunately, the Pixel Buds Pro don't have support for any higher quality audio codecs either from Qualcomm or Sony. But now let's talk about sound. Simply put, the Pixel Buds Pro sound good enough to get the job done, but these earbuds do lean towards a warmer sound signature to them because they have a lot of bass in them, which mostly just resonates. But they also try to compensate for all of their bass by elevating the treble on them. Simply put, the Pixel Buds Pro are mostly bass and vocals, and the instrumentals on these earbuds don't have much room to breathe and their detail is lacking. And at times, vocals can get a little too harsh and a little Tinny, and especially snares can get a little too overemphasized. Now, the volume EQ setting on these earbuds really does help combat the overly bright treble on these earbuds at higher volume, but regardless, it's still there. But also, more recently, these earbuds have gotten a fully customizable EQ, so you can go in and lower the bass on these earbuds a little bit if you want, and more importantly, you can lower their treble. But even with my preferred EQ settings, I still can't help but feel that these earbuds sound a little narrow and are mostly just bass and vocals. Don't get me wrong, they sound good enough to get the job done, but if sound quality is very important to you, then you might want to go with either the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, Sennheiser CX Plus, or Sennheiser Momentum 3s. Now, when it comes to the media controls on these earbuds, you've got touchpads. Now, you can tap to skip through your music, you can press and hold to cycle between your ANC settings, and you can swipe to raise or lower your volume directly from the earbuds themselves. And overall, these touchpads are very accurate and they're easy enough to use. But something that I did notice is that they aren't overly sensitive, which I feel is a good thing when you go to adjust these earbuds while they're in your ears. But also, just you'd expect these earbuds do have wear sensors, so they'll automatically play and pause your music if you take them out of your ears or put them back in. But now let's talk about the active noise cancellation on these earbuds. Now the ANC on the Pixel Buds Pro does block out more noise than your mid-tier ANC earbuds like either the Beats Studio Buds, Galaxy Buds 2, or the Sennheiser CX Plus. And the ANC on these earbuds doesn't have any noticeable cabin pressure to it, which is good. However, while in a quieter environment, you will notice a constant hissing in the background, but you won't notice this hissing if you've got some music playing. 
But when compared to your more premium ANC earbuds, the Pixel Buds Pro do struggle to keep up here. Because right now, the AirPod Pro 2 are my number one earbuds when it comes to active noise cancellation. Albeit, their ANC can make me a little nauseous sometimes, and sometimes I can lose my balance a little bit with them. Right below them are the Bose QC Earbuds 2, which also block out a ton of noise, but without all of the side effects, which I think is pretty cool. Right below them are the Sennheiser Momentum 3s, which did get a performance boost after a recent firmware upgrade. Right below them are the Sony WF-1000XM4s and their Super Itchy Foam Ear Tips. Right below them are the LinkBud S, which don't have Super Itchy Foam Ear Tips. Right below them are the Jabra Elite 85Ts. Right below them are the Jabra Elite 7 Pros. Right below them are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Right below them are the Pixel Buds Pro, and below them are the original Galaxy Buds Pro. So overall, the ANC on the Pixel Buds Pro is still useful for reducing road noise while on a bus or reducing some chatter if you're in a noisy cafeteria. But if active noise cancellation is very important to you, then you might want to go with something else. But then there's the ambient mode on these earbuds. Now, the ambient mode on these earbuds is actually really good. It sounds very natural and there's very little self amplification. But my main critique here is that there's still some noticeable hissing in the background again. Now, you're not going to hear this hissing if you're outdoors or if you've got some music playing, but you will notice this hissing if you're in a quiet room and if you're watching a movie and if a quiet scene comes on. But more importantly, the microphone array on these earbuds does a really good job of blocking out wind noise when walking outdoors. But unfortunately, these earbuds have a standard ambient mode, as in they will just pump in everything. They don't have an active ambient mode like what's found on the AirPod Pro, Bose QC Earbuds 2, Sony WF-1000XM4s, or original Galaxy Buds Pro, where they will automatically turn off their ambient mode if there is a sudden loud sound. And basically what I'm talking about is this. With either the AirPod, Bose, Sony, or original Galaxy Buds Pro, they would have automatically turned off their ambient mode and they would have blocked out that clap. Whereas with the Pixel Buds Pro, they would have let that clap in. Now, this feature is very useful if you like to commute with your earbuds while you're walking around in the city. So that way, if a siren rolls by or if a dog starts barking, your ears aren't just going to get blasted. Now, personally, I'm not too upset that the Pixel Buds Pro don't have an active ambient mode because this is the first time that Pixel Buds have an ambient mode. But I really hope and personally, I wouldn't be too surprised if Google pushes out a future firmware update to these earbuds, which will give them an active ambient mode. No promises here, but Google does like to push out new features to their products after they've been released. And a good example of this is the fully customizable EQ that the Pixel Buds Pro finally have. But finally, here's the microphone test. Now, overall, I feel that the Pixel Buds Pro have a decent performing microphone on them, but I can't help but feel that this microphone does sound a little robotic while in a quiet room. And even though the microphone on the Pixel Buds Pro isn't up there with the microphone found on the AirPod Pro 2 or AirPod 3, it's still up there. Now, the microphone on the Pixel Buds Pro does a decent job of dealing with noise pollution. Because right now, this microphone is doing a decent job of reducing this road noise. Because for comparison's sake, if we were to switch over to my Apollo microphone, you're going to clearly hear all of this road noise. But if we were to switch back over to the Pixel Buds Pro, it is reduced. But when compared to the AirPod Pro 2, I feel that these are blocking out a little bit more road noise with less interference in my voice. And when it comes to blocking out chatter, I feel that it's the same thing. The AirPod Pro 2 block out a little bit more chatter with less interference in my voice than the Pixel Buds Pro. But regardless, the Pixel Buds Pro are also doing a decent job of reducing all of this chatter without interfering with my voice too much or pushing it down too much. So overall, I would say that the Pixel Buds Pro have a decent performing microphone on them.
But with all that being said, the Pixel Buds Pro are definitely a solid default option for any Pixel or Android user in general. The Pixel Buds Pro are a very convenient pair of earbuds thanks to their generally small case, long-lasting earbuds, multi-point connectivity, and decent performing microphone. And with their aggressive pricing, these are a great pickup. However, when it comes to sound quality, active noise cancellation, and ambient mode, these are good enough to get the job done. But if you want better sound quality or better active noise cancellation, you might want to go with something else. But as a complete package, you can't go wrong with these because overall, these are very convenient. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular. So I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.